Hey everyone, today we are going to make some fried rice for lunch. Uh, fried rice is actually super easy uh, to make at home. Uh, it's basically, you can use whatever you want. Basically, I just use it for a bunch of leftovers. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So we're gonna jump over here real quick. We're gonna take a look at the ingredients and then we're gonna go ahead, because basically with fried rice, you have to basically kind of have everything ready ahead of time and then you just kind of dump it all in. So we're gonna take a look at the ingredients first and then we'll go to ahead and jump over and take a look at how you put all of this together. So real quick, here's what we're gonna have for our ingredients today. Obviously we're gonna have our rice here in there. Uh, it needs to be old rice, which is actually kind of funny. You actually need to make it the day before and then add it in, uh, let it kind of cool in the fridge. Typically, they will tell you to uh, put it in a on a sheet pan so it lays flat. Um, I find one of these deli containers work just fine. Uh, obviously, there's an egg. If you don't want to use the egg, you don't have to, but I like the egg in there. Um, allows you to scramble that up. And then from there, it's just a, really usually a bunch of sauces and kind of whatever else you want to mix in as well. So today, we're going to be using our oyster sauce. I love this stuff, so we're going to have that. Uh, our soy sauce back here. Ponzu is a new thing that I've just kind of recently discovered. Really love how the flavor of that, so we're going to use that as well. Uh, we've got some rice wine vinegar here as well. I normally put in mirin, but I'm out of that, so we're not going to have that in today. Uh, and then I've got some bacon left over from the other night from dinner, so we're going to throw that in. Obviously, you can put in shrimp or chicken or whatever else. But that's the ingredients we're going to be using today for. Okay, now we're into the fun stuff and actually cooking. Okay, so... Uh, as you can see, normally fried rice is made in a wok. As you can see, I do not have a wok. Um, I keep thinking about purchasing one, just really haven't kind of gotten around to it. Basically, you just need kind of a big pan. Normally, I would just make stuff in this red skillet back here. Uh, but this saucier that I got from Binging with Babish, who's on YouTube, um, this does a really nice job for these things. Um, it gives me kind of the big kind of surface that we're looking for here with this. Now, the recipe that I follow comes from Jet Tila. Uh, you may have seen him on Food Network, uh, uh, kind of an Asian kind of cuisine expert, uh, bought his cookbook. This is kind of his, my adaptation of his fried rice recipe. So first thing typically that you will do is you want to get the pan, they always call it screaming hot, but get it as hot as you possibly can. And the reason that you want to lay out kind of all your ingredients, kind of like what we saw before, is simply because this goes quick. Because it's so hot, Everything happens really, really quickly. Um, so you wanna have kind of all of your shit together before you get rolling. But once you get rolling, it all comes together here in just a couple of minutes. So it's a quick lunch. Uh, it's usually pretty easy. And like I said, I usually just kind of do this with all kinds of like leftovers that we have. So if I have some leftover chicken or some leftover shrimp or some leftover, like in this case, bacon or anything else, anything leftover from the night before for dinner, you can certainly do that. All right, that pan's feeling pretty hot now. All right, so we're going to start with our oil, uh, typically a couple tablespoons. I will generally just kind of eyeball it. As you can see, we're at the end of that, so we get the farting noise, so we'll get that in there real quick. Typically, what you're looking for here, uh, I think in Jet's cookbook, it actually said like little wisps of smoke. Um, basically, you just want to heat, the, heat that up uh, pretty hot. Now, at this point, then, everything from here is going to be kind of just kind of rapid fire, so I'm going to give that another second or two to heat up. And then from here, we're just gonna just kind of just go. So from there, it's basically dump and stir. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in our egg and just scramble your egg. I like my egg scrambled, so we're gonna scramble that up real quick. Uh, you can fry it if you want. I'm not a big fried egg guy, so scramble here really kind of works for that for me. As you can see, only takes a couple of seconds for that. Boom, done. So, scramble. Now we're gonna throw in our rice right out of the container. And basically now I'm just looking to make a flat layer. Now, it's called fried rice, only because in theory, yes, you're frying it into some oil here, but you're not looking for it to get brown. Actually, where the brown color comes from when you have it in the restaurant, comes from your soy sauce, your oyster sauce, and all the other goodies that they kind of throw in there. But basically all you're looking to do is just kind of flatten it out. Now, supposedly in Japanese culture or Chinese culture, um, breaking the rice kernels is, is bad and it's you know disrespectful and all of that. Uh, you know, but I like to kind of make sure that we've got it. I don't want like big clumps like this. So you'll see me kind of 
break it up kind of like hamburger meat here a little bit um, as well. So get this in here. Basically at this point, we're just kind of looking to warm up the rice. Get it looking, like I said, kind of in a manageable edible chunk um, in here. I'm trying to get this big guy down uh, as well. Still a couple of days past LASIK surgery. Uh, so the, uh, so I'm seeing better, uh, but not as, uh, perfect as what I would be as back as when I was with the glasses. So, um, got a little kind of guessing game a little bit some of with, with some of this stuff, uh, as well. All right. From here, basically you're going to add in your stuff. Now, like I said, normally I would use, um, a thing called mirin. I don't have any of that today. That would be normally kind of where I start. We're going to hit it now with a little bit of rice vinegar. Exactly that. Basically, it's a it's a vinegar. Um, it doesn't taste super vinegary. They're putting it into your fried rice at your restaurants as well, so you're used to tasting that. But it's just something else that you would normally put in there um, as well. But you can kind of smell the vinegar when you initially put it in. This would also be the point right before you add in all these sauces that you would add in your your pro your other proteins, your shrimp, your chicken, whatever, um, whatever. Typically, you'll want to. Pre-cook those. The shrimp, maybe not, but the chicken, you're definitely going to want to pre-cook um, those, chop them up into small pieces. This ponzu stuff, I've heard them talk about it on the shows before. I finally got to get my hands on it. Um, I found it at, I believe, Jewel. Uh, tastes really, really good. It's like a soy sauce, but it's got uh, a citrus to it. Um, so I really kind of enjoy this. I've been adding this on to uh, the ramen and other things that I make. It's got kind of Asian flavors with that. Next up, I'm going to throw in what's called oyster sauce. It doesn't taste oystery or fishy. Um, it was sticking, so we had, uh, so I had my bottle kind of turned upside down. Now, of course, I got a bunch of it dumped in there. Let me wipe off my hand real quick uh, and then mix that through. It does not taste fishy or oystery or any of that stuff like you would think that it does. Um, I really like the flavor. It's kind of a molassesy kind of flavor um, in there. And then the last thing that we will finish this off with will be our soy sauce. Typically, you can also put in um, what's called fish sauce as well. Again, it's made from, I believe, ground sardines, but it doesn't taste super fishy. Um, it basically is kind of a salt component. So basically, that's what you would use in, in place of salt in this. And obviously, your soy sauce is going to have a lot of salt in here as well. But go ahead and stir this real quick. Make sure that that's all covered. Again, see, it's not, you've got, the browning doesn't come from the frying of the rice. The browning came from all of the sauces that we use. I almost forgot my bacon. So let me grab that out, dump in a couple of these. Just kind of break them up real quick. Again, at this point, I'm just looking just to heat this up. I'm not looking to kind of cook it. Obviously it's already been kind of pre-cooked. So we don't really kind of have to worry about that just looking to make it, you know, mix it through. I also generally will add in green onions as well. Um, I really like green onions. You saw that in the last video that I made. Uh, I ran out <laughs> when I used them in the last video. That was kind of the last of them. I haven't uh, had a chance to, to get any more. All right, that's basically all you're gonna do to make fried rice. At this point now, I'm gonna turn off the heat. They always say kill the heat. I always think that's a little weird. Um, it's basically just turn off the heat. You can throw whatever else you want in here. You can throw in veggies as well. Um, typically you'll see peas or carrots um, or peas or corn. I'd like to throw in some corn again. I don't have that on hand. I'll throw in, I'll get like little mini cans of, of, of corn and throw them in here. And then obviously you can throw in things like frozen peas, frozen carrots, frozen corn, a medley mix, um, anything that you and your family might happen to, to have and like in there. But that's it. Um, in terms of how long that that team uh, came together. So just a couple of minutes. Uh, basically for, for this, it's all just make sure that you've got all your stuff kind of ready ahead of time. And then lunch is ready pretty pretty quickly. So that's basically fried rice. Uh, hopefully next week we'll be back hopefully with a little bit more kind of sliced ice chop once all the eyes are kind of back up and running. Uh, but that's basically what we've got for lunch today. So thank you everybody for watching. Uh, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and threads and Instagram. And I will see you guys next time.